Now if you saw the previous tutorial, you would have seen me add a beetle sprite to my screen. If I want to add another one, go down here and click the new sprite icon. And you can see you've got all sorts of things that you can choose from. Just click a category and away you go. Now, Football World Cup's coming up, so I'm going to click Soccer Ball, press OK. And now I've got this ball here. Now let's say I want to make the ball spin. What I need to do is have an event. The event is the trigger that's going to cause the sprite script to run, or cause your code to run. So you can do whatever we want. Let's say I'll move this when the spacebar key is pressed. But if I don't want the spacebar, I can choose any of them. Maybe I want the down arrow to be pressed instead. And that's going to trigger the ball's code. Now I might have, okay, let's make this code run continuously. So I want the forever loop. Or maybe I want to repeat it a certain number of times. Or wait briefly before doing something else. It's entirely up to you. Just experiment. Then I want them to move. So I'm the likely um, category is the motion category. So let's say I want them to turn 15 degrees to the left. If I wanted to change the 15 to something else, I can do that. Let's say 25, just by clicking and typing a new value. Now when we press the down arrow, we can see nothing actually works at the moment because my cursor was in there. But as soon as I press away, now the ball runs continuously. So let's add another one to make him stop. Let's say this time when I press the up arrow, um, I might go down to control and I want to say stop and I want to stop either everything in the entire game, maybe this is a game over. I want to stop just the script, which isn't really doing much at the moment, or I want to stop all the other scripts behind the ball's sprite. So let's choose that one and see what happens. If I make that, let's say, 10, the ball might go a bit slower as well. So I press the down arrow, and the ball runs a lot slower this time. Notice that the code that's currently running is highlighted with this sort of yellow glow. Now if I press the up arrow, the ball stops. Down arrow, it turns. Up arrow, it stops. Now you try. Get a sprite and see if you can control its movement.